Hey guys, this is the apple tree and uh, the blueberry right up front. The apple tree's not blooming yet. And some nice blueberry flowers. So I've, uh, these are recently done. Um, I've, I've seeded these out with some ground cover. Hopefully that'll, um, it's a Japanese plum. I was right about the flower buds. <laughs> really pretty flowers. Probably go ahead and pluck these off today. I probably should do it right now, but I'll uh, it'll probably take me a while, so I'll wait. <laughs> but uh, really nice looking flowers on there. Pluck all those off because it's still so small. It's only like about four feet tall right now. So looking good though. Lots of pretty healthy green growth. Put all that growth on really fast. All since last time, I think. Really good, healthy flush of growth. So hopefully, I like this spot being a little bit higher and uh, covering it with the ground cover to keep it keep it in place. Hopefully, and keep the soil healthy. Same thing on this apple. Looks like this one might be get getting kind of close. Well, no, maybe not. I was thinking I've seen it budding out, but I don't think it is. Done the same with these mounds. Seeded them all out to try to get the soil covered as soon as possible. Pear tree still dormant on this one. It's the big pear tree. It's got some flower clusters on this main part. There's a ton of flowers too. Let's see if I can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About six, seven, seven on that bottom one. Hard to count that top one, still kind of all up in there. Looks really good. Yeah, these flower buds are really popping out. I have a ton of flowers. And uh, there's some bigger ones out there. Looking really good. Just looking up in the top of the tree, you can see a lot of the clusters kind of coming out right up in there. It's really covered, there's covering this whole branch all up in there all these branches are have got flower clusters that's really good to see hopefully it'll just make so many pairs that the critters will have their feel and <laughs> i'll have some too there's the flowers this section is already fully green you can see this is the it's interesting that i'm sorry this this is the privet actually right up here up front that's the pear tree right back here and um it's got its, its flowers came out almost a week or two, almost two weeks uh, before before the other one. So it's definitely a different variety, most likely. There's some about three or four flower clusters that I can see right there. So hopefully, uh, hopefully these ones on the main tree will bloom soon enough that they can be pollinated um, to each other if it's needed. They may be a self-pollinating variety for that new one, but. Uh, that's kind of cool. Pollen spider web. <laughs> I'm glad the spiders are in the tree. Hopefully, it keeps some of the bugs out of here. Lots of flower buds up there. Got some flower buds down here, too. There's a big cluster right up there. Oh, well, that's good. They're blooming early. Hopefully, they'll pollinate next door that right there is a big flower cluster that's already open so it's funny how it's so much earlier than all the other ones but it's already fully open got a nice big bunch of flowers right there so that'll be good hopefully the um the other pear varieties right there beside it kind of so that'll be good hopefully get some nice pears interested it's always interesting to see what something else is it's probably it was a rootstock you know it's probably Maybe not, but it could be a seedling rootstock, which would be kind of interesting to see if it uh, if it's something different and tasty. It does good here. It's a really good grower here. Um, it hasn't had any issues. It's uh, it got mauled by a deer too, and just uh, took it all in stride and tilling over the wound. I haven't even done anything to it. I could have you know helped kind of peel back this bark a little bit just to help it heal over. But you can see this. The new wood is uh, healing over nicely and uh, 
probably might remove off these branches if I get a chance around this new growth, but uh, it's just really doing good. Uh, no disease issues. Um, really pretty branches and leaves. So it'll be fun to see how that one turns out. Head over to the next row. Pomegranate in the plum tree. The plum tree is still dormant. Try to do that today if I can. Planted up even in, uh, in all the other ones with the mounds too, and even the ones without mounds. I've also seeded with some ground covers and also be seeding with some vegetable crops um, for all of them too. The the new ones like this one, this mound isn't very high. Just looking at it right now, but um, it'll be enough to help help the soil be healthier. Um, with the nearby wet soil. This plum tree's budding out good. This one's a European plum. It's looking really healthy so far. I've heard that uh, they get have some heavy disease issues in our area, but uh, it'll be interesting to see. I've heard a few varieties do okay, so it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. Blueberry looking really healthy right here. Down beside the uh, the uh, apple tree right here, still dormant. So this right here is uh, it's a blueberry right down in there, and it's protected by uh, a bunch of um, apple. I'm, I'm sorry, not apple. Uh, river birch limbs. And these are just stuck in the ground all around it, just to kind of provide a. Uh, river birch a lot of the branches just kind of sprawl out and kind of make it just a, a thick kind of covering so I uh, stuck those all around it and uh, it seems to be doing the job no damage that I can see on it so far all the new growth looks healthy you can definitely tell there's deer nearby because we saw the deer prints over in the little pool a while ago so they're definitely canvassing the area but um kept them off so far so that's always nice these deer will love young blueberries they just munch them almost right to the ground or all the new growth at least off of it i think i may have said pear on that other tree this is the pear tree actually the other one in the other row is the, as was the bigger apple tree or the smaller bigger apple tree pear looks good hopefully it'll like this area being raised up because this is one of the wettest areas right here apple tree all still dormant I jumped ahead of this rose, the bigger pear right here, but looking good. Excited to see how all these pears turn out. <laughs>